A eulogy to my father. Now, it's kind of hard to say something about a person you never knew, a home of a life beneath my skin, a backstory family next of kin to me father is an empty meaning attached to a face I've never seen, something that will never be a word I use alternatively for mother, a eulogy to my father. And now I know I said this is a eulogy, but it's kind of hard to bury the dead when to you that person never lived because to me, Father is a man who slightly ball taught me how to kick a ball. I erase the grand in front of father because around here father is a term used to describe my opa. A man who has been there since the beginning of time and I only hope I can find a man who is half the guy that he was to me a eulogy to my father. An empty spot ready to be filled for a kid who only ever celebrated second mother's day who had to explain that Opa was the only name I could scribble on the inside of a card that proclaimed Happy Father's Day, who answered all dad-based questions quietly with a pathetic, I don't have one, but that was a lie, a eulogy to my father. A title that doesn't belong to you. To me, father isn't a term I'd use to describe a glorified sperm donor because family doesn't start with blood. And if you ask me 100% guarantee the only blood that pumps through me always has been and always will be my true family, I am a Garretson and nothing else, a eulogy to my father. And yes, this is a eulogy because to me it's time to bury the deadbeats. And I don't mean to re be harsh, but I'm revoking your dad card. To me, you were nothing but a story. A fairy tale with no beginning but a definite ending and spoiler alert it ended when you left me but that's okay because any good writer knows the protagonist can always be replaced and instead of having you dad I had you happily replaced by a mother who will always hold the grand title of both mom and dad she showed me I don't need no man a grand father who will always be my hero the only man I'd ever want to walk me down the aisle because he will always be more than just my opa, a grandmother, who took me in as if she was the one who birthed me. And like I said, I erase the grand in front of parents because around here, they are just that, parents. And lastly, a family friend who has been there since day one. And yes, I do call Tara my father because she has been there more than anyone could have ever asked of her. Tara loves me more than my dad ever had. She truly is and always will be my father, a eulogy to my father. Dear dad, it's time to bury your name in the sand because I don't need you now or ever. But don't get me wrong, I do love you. How could I not look what you gave me? But I've never loved you as a father. You see, I've never had a father because in my life I was blessed enough to have four. Four amazing people who love me enough to compensate for your loss three times over. This is goodbye because you were never my father. In all honesty, I wrote a eulogy for a stranger.